What's up, Herd? It's my last video before we get into Nashville, but I couldn't leave you hanging. So here is your video for Friday, July 25th. My name is Aaron and let's get on into the charts. Bitcoin went down this morning to about 63,500 and we have jumped back since then. I do expect this to hold at least for the next 24 to 48 hours though. The, uh, the trajectory right now is a bit bearish. I could see us coming down to about 61, 61.5, somewhere in that neighborhood uh, before we get into the next leg of this bull run, which I do think will happen in the next month to a month and a half. I think we'll get out of this purple box, um, which really leads us into October and gets us above all-time highs around $73,000. We're starting to head down for the price as well as the money flow as well as the trend exhaustion. So I do expect us to either travel sideways, getting back down to 63 perhaps, but then um, as low as 61. I don't see us breaking 61, especially for the Bitcoin price, unless traditional markets uh, continue to decline. Just speaking of traditional markets, guys, we did come down on the SPY to about 530. I don't typically talk about the traditional markets, but I do think it's a factor in this current downtrend, guys. If traditional markets were still in price discovery, guys, I do think Bitcoin would be a little bit higher right now, but because of it, we are coming down. Traditional markets could come all the way down to where we were back in May, but I do expect them to bounce shortly. Ethereum has dropped considerably since the launch of the ETF on Tuesday. We did see some bullish numbers as far as money flow and volume on the, those ETFs, but the last couple days have been a sell the news event, which does look very similar to what happened when we opened up the BTC ETFs. BTC fell about 20% after the launch of its ETFs, which would bring us down to about 28.50 at the lows here if we see the same trajectory for the Ethereum price after the ETF launch. Well, money is already flowing out here, but the trend exhaustion is already starting to bottom out. So we could see a reversal on this sooner than later, but I do expect to see more bearish momentum into the weekend. BNB looks much like Bitcoin as it did on Wednesday. And I do expect it to stay above resistance here at 550 uh, going into the weekend guys. Solana's bounced off resistance at 165 and has recovered up to 168 already. And although whale money flow is high on this already, guys, I do expect it to ride a little bit of momentum as it's likely to be the next thing that gets an ETF. Now let's get on into the elephant money ecosystem. With the market taking a bearish turn over the last couple of days, Trunk has dropped 7% today. I do think it's likely that 25 cents will hold up the price though through the weekend, especially since we're getting together as the herd later today. I do think momentum will come back into this. I want to give you some quick perspective here. If we look back to just a couple of months ago, we went from exactly this price at around 26 cents all the way up to $1.60 in exactly 62 days, guys. That is the kind of price action we could be seeing over the next couple of months as well, especially if Bitcoin and Ethereum turn around and get mega bullish. Not financial advice, guys, but to keep rowing in the same direction as the herd, I do recommend getting into Jupiter and on to PancakeSwap and setting limit orders for Trunk and continue to maintain your futures account throughout this cycle. With that, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you that will be in Nashville to those who can't make it. I hope to see you at a future event, guys. I know this won't be the only one. Have a great weekend. Enjoy Tennessee to those who are joining us and God bless.